close to $5 billion in federal funds to help Massachusetts recover from the pandemic were approved by Congress last winter. But all these months later, state lawmakers cannot agree on how to spend that money. We wondered about that holdup, and WBZ political analyst John Keller dug into the competing plans and found a possible clue to this long delay. The message is clear. Help is here. The president, back in March, celebrating the approval of billions in aid to states to help repair the pandemic's social and economic damage. The consolidated amendment is adopted. But it took the state house and senate months to come up with their own spending plans, which still haven't been finalized. What took so long? Here's one answer. They had to lard the bill with local spending unrelated to the stated goals of the American Rescue Plan. Riverbend Park in Cambridge is a nice spot, but its use and enjoyment does not depend on spending 25 grand for a marker commemorating the long ago designers of the area, which the House bill does. The Senate version spends freely on restoring obscure historic buildings in out of the way spots, like 75,000 for the Wilder Homestead in Buckland, 40 grand for the Jenks store in Douglas, and 50K for this gazebo in Townsend. Quaint? Yes. Tourism engines? No. This Brookline Chamber of Commerce website seems just fine, but they still want to sink 85,000 in ARPA funds to somehow pep it up. Youth soccer is an important community activity, but $200,000 to spruce up this field in Hanson? And while the folks at the Ted Kennedy Institute do a great job of teaching school kids about the U.S. Senate, they promised to pay their debt with their own revenues. So why does the legislature want to drop five million of those recovery dollars to do it for them? On and on it goes. Now, the American Rescue Plan was designed to give states broad leeway in how they use the money, and it does look like the bulk of the state's haul will go to legitimate needs. But with a cascade of late amendments ranging from dubious to ridiculous, our legislators have proven once again they have a vision problem. They see a helping hand and think it's a cookie jar. Lisa, David?